Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have an amazing day today. And in this video, I'm going to give my honest opinion about Roblox Jailbreak Season 11. Now before I get to the one, if you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, please feel free to subscribe as well, and please feel free to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So as of August 12th, 2022, Season 11 has officially released to the public. And honestly, Season 11 feels way too easy. Out of all the seasons that we have so far, Season 11 is going to be the easiest. It will be even easier than Season 6, but please keep in mind that the contracts in Season 11 are still not as easy as the contracts in Season 6. And I guess that makes sense. Season 11 also lasts for about 50 days, which is actually a really long season, considering it is very easy to reach level 10. Bruh. Unlike most of the other seasons that we had received recently, it would probably take about a week and a half to reach level 10 with the season pass. So reaching level 10 is very easy in this season. Wow. So if you do have the season pass, well, congratulations, you might hit level 10 in about a week or two, depending on how many contracts you have completed. Hopefully you are capable of getting your contracts every 16 hours, because if you don't, well, that's unfortunate. Season 11 also brought in two new features. These two new features are really useful. The first one is season pass gifting. As of Season 11, you can now gift others the Season Pass as long as they do not own it. So for example, if I wanted to give a Season Pass to Napkinate, I can put in the username, and in that case, that would be Napkinate, and if that player does not own the Season Pass, then you will be able to get a prompt that will tell you if you want to buy the Season Pass for that user or not. Now please keep that in mind that there are no discounts when buying someone a season pass, Bruh. as you still have to spend 399 Robux to give someone a season pass. You do not need to own the season pass to give someone a season pass, so that's great. You can still gift yourself the season pass if you wanted to, but it's up to you. If someone already owns the season pass, then there's no need to buy another season pass for them. Alongside, we have received another great feature, which I think is by far one of the best features to release in a season. So, this feature is very helpful and it does replace the abort button. The feature is known as the re-rolling feature. With the introduction of the re-rolling feature, you can now re-roll any of your contracts one time for 15,000 cash. And I guess that's fair. I mean, why else would you spend 100k just to reroll one contract. If you are lucky enough, you might get some extra XP out of that new contract. For example, if I rerolled a 20 XP contract, and I actually did for this contract set, then you might end up getting a 25 XP contract. Or if you're even more lucky, you might get a 30 XP contract or a 35 XP contract. Sometimes you might actually still have the same amount of XP on a different contract. Bruh. You will not get the same exact contract every time you reroll. So that's awesome. The rewards in Season 11 are also worth it. So if you do have the Season Pass, most of the rewards are really good. I like most of the other seasons where at least one or two Season Pass rewards are actually worth getting. And unlike Season 10, Level 6's reward is a texture for your vehicles. So if you manage to reach level 6, you'll get a vehicle texture. There are no gun skins in Season 11, unlike Season 10. Anyway, the grand prize for the season is actually perfect for the toys and collectibles, but you may argue about it in the comments below. The Season 11 grand prize is the Bloxy. If you reach level 10, regardless if you have the season pass or not in Season 11, you'll get the Bloxy. We are currently unsure as to how fast the Bloxy can go, but considering that it looks like a race car, I think the Bloxy will be about the speed of the Airtail. So the Bloxy might be pretty fast, but it won't be the fastest vehicle in the game for sure. I mean, the Bruley is already the fastest, so it wouldn't make any sense for the Bloxy to be the fastest. The bonus reward in this season is also worth getting, and just like Season 10, you have to be part of the top 2% to get the bonus reward 
So this is actually the first spoiler to be a bonus reward, and I have been waiting for a spoiler to be a bonus reward after a while. While it is a shame that we still don't have more bonus rewards for Season 11, I am very satisfied with most of the rewards in Season 11. When you reach level 2, you actually get a really good looking rim, the teddy bear rims. Honestly, most of the season rewards in this season are really good. I think my least favorite out of all of them is the Rubik's Cube Couch, which is a level 3 reward, but other than that, all the other rewards in Season 11 are fantastic. And if I have to give my honest opinion on Season 11, I think it is worth grinding Season 11. Because Season 11 is going to be among the best seasons that we have received so far. The idea behind the theme of Season 11 was really good, and I definitely approve the theme of Season 11. The theme itself is fantastic, and I will definitely not object the season's theme itself. If you have to choose what your favorite season is, please let me know down in the comments. I would surely love to read your comments, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. Please feel free to subscribe as well, and please feel free to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And as always, my name is Mr. Vince, I hope you all have an amazing day today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.